fly they call the frenzy. Now, the first fly, the first one I ever saw uh, was in a loch called Loch Fitty, the Fitty Frenzy, um, and this it was tied as a lure, it was actually very big. This is a great pattern tied as a small wet fly, uh, or in this case size 10 I'm tying. Now, you'd start off with using a fire on thread, so you, it basically makes tying in the rest of the body quite easy and much easier to hide, uh, especially the orange hackle. So what I'm going to do is put a layer of thread down the shank, tie the tail in, which is just as before you go around the bend, or in line with the barb of the hook. Now the tail, this is dyed golden pheasant crest. It's naturally yellow anyway, but as you, as you know, uh, but I've gave this a boost of uh, been sunburst dyed it sunburst to make it a bit stronger and uh, certainly brightens the fly up, it's a bright fly anyway tail length, you're looking shank so I put the tail in my finger and thumb and then do a pinching loop on top keeping a hold of the, the ends of the tail, come underneath with the thread let it go and then lock these in with a, a turn this Slightly lifts them, but it makes it stick them, it locks them in really well. And then we can trim this the length of the body. You need to do that because you don't want to cut it down here. Or you're just going to have a step, you don't want that. The rib is a, it's a small gold wire. Tie that again, the length of the body. And then the old gold tinsel. Now we've got the tinsel here, we've got a new length, cut one off. Now this is gold, silver one side and gold the other, so you can catch that on, full length of the body again. This is like a Lurex or a Myler, it's, it's quite, it's really soft and it winds on really easy. Now when you bring your thread up, make sure you keep it as neat as possible. When the thread, thread turns touching, stop about maybe 2mm from the eye. Obviously you want the gold side to show. Do a straight turn at the back and then we just work our way up. Spreading out. With a large tinsel it's very easy to cover the, the body. Large or medium is ideal for a fly like this. So if I were to Right down, trim away the waist. Do a straight turn at the back with the wire, which protects the back. And then you want to rub it up four to five turns. There we are. Now this turn here I come straight up and follow it with the thread, a 90 degree bend into the wire. And then just run the wire straight down to the eye. This will tidy everything up for you. Bend and break away the wire, that's you ready for your hackle. So I'll work your thread back up. The hackle though is just a hot orange herring. These are just Chinese hen. Hackle length, it's up to yourself really, you can have them short as long as you want. Uh, if you go by a standard it's usually you're looking at the fibres between the point and the barb, whatever way you want it. Now, I tie it in by the point, so what I'm going to do is use my small hackle pliers to get the point of the hackle. Come and tie it with a good side facing myself. A couple of turns down, fold the tip of the hackle back, come back up, two or three turns. Slide your fingers back and you'll find the tip of the hackle so then you can break it away. And then what I'm going to do is use my hackle pliers here so you can see a wee bit better. I'm just going to fold these fibres, fold them back with my fingers and then you want to do straight turns so you go one, just I would use this hackle up, it's not a big one two, I'd say three turns is plenty just take the, bring the thread up beside the stem, 
But again, I think it's going to be bending. Wind down towards the eye. Nice and tight. Now I can take away the hackle pliers. I'm going to break this off. Always keep the thread tight when you do that. Any fibres going forward, just draw them back with the thread turns. And there we are. There's your, your hackle on. Now the wing. This is sword tail from the peacock. Now when you buy a packet of this, you'll normally get a right and a left side. But what I do is, you're looking at a wing, round about, say, six or so fibres. I'm just going to put an extra one in. Just trim it. So that way, your right side. Get my other side. Do the same. Bring out what you need, come in with the points of the scissors, trim it away, and then just gonna have a look. Just tie it on the same way you would tie it on if you were if you were doing using mallard or any other type of winging material. Obviously line up the ends. You're seeing the underside of the fibres. Short of the tail. I want it full length. You can, well, you can have it if you want, but just slightly short. Fold it down either side, keeping these fibres on the top. You can pinch and loop two or three times to make sure it's not going to move and then tighten up with another two or three turns. Now you can always go back at this point and check your wing. See how it's looking. That looks okay, that'll do. Don't Mess with it any more than it you need to. Trim this away. And then tidy that area up. Now the head's black, so I'm going to change over to a uni black. So you can keep the orange fire on, you can keep the head fire orange if you want, but the head is normally black. So I'm cutting away the base piece of the black and the fire orange red. We quick look and see how it's sitting. Uh, it's okay, that's sitting fine. Two jungle cock eyes, two small. Now this is you don't need to put these on, but uh, this is a it's a good wee fry pattern like a perch. So it'd be ideal with two jungle cock eyes if you needed to just highlight the eyes of it. Now try it to the same size. I'll put them on individually so you can see what I'm doing. So uh -oh. Got the tip of the jungle cock in my finger and thumb. Just tear back fibres either side. You've got your jungle cock eye. Just tie it on the side. Tie it on the black area. It's much easier to tie it on that. Quick look, that's fine. Get your other eye. There. Check it's the same size, yeah. It's a bit small that one, so I'm going to have to go back in. Almost makes sense to have the eyes the same size. And again, you just take away fibres either side of the feather. Now, I usually do both at the same time, but a lot of people say they struggle doing that, so just to show you what I'm doing, obviously measure up the eye. If you look from the top of the fly down, you'll see the the same length. Or not like it's just make sure they are. Just a couple of turns to make sure they're sitting. And then position the the jungle cock same as the and run with, running with the line of the, the actual wing. Once you're happy, you can tighten up. Then now I'm going to fold these these back. I like to fold them back for security so that the jungle cock will not pull out, it's got to break off. Trim these away. It's the waste piece. Came to both the same size, so trim that away. Then all we have to do is tidy the head area up and then varnish. Now I'm going to super glue and varnish the head. I mean, it's just for speed, it's not. Well, it does obviously help hold it together, 
but uh, super glue is like speeds the process up of the head, forming a nice shiny head. So I'll get super glue to so touch the head all the way around. And you'd allow that to dry. Doesn't it take long? <laughs> 